the ratio of the ages of the father and the son at present is 19 to 5. After four years, the ratio will become 3 to 1. So what is the sum of the present ages of the father and son? Okay, now uh, we have the ratio between the ages of the father and son at present. So that is 19 to 5. Okay, here uh, the first term of the ratio 19 refers to the present age of father and the second term of the ratio 5 refers to the present age of son. Okay, from the terms of the ratio, if I want to get the present ages of uh, father and son, I have to multiply both the terms of the ratio by the same non-zero number, say x. So, father's present age. Is equal to, I have to multiply the first term of the ratio by the non-zero number x, then it will be 19 times x is going to be 19x. So then son's percentage. I have to multiply the second term of the ratio by the same non-zero number x. So 5 times x is 5x. Okay, now uh, I got the percentages of father and son in terms of x. Okay, after four years, so what will be the age of father and what will be the age of son? After four years father's age is equal to 19x positive 4 at present the age of father is 19x after four years uh, it will be 19x positive 4 and uh, after four years son's age is equal to 5x positive 4 so to get the age of son after four years you have to add uh, 4 to the percentage 5x so we get 5x positive 4 so now we can do ratio between uh, the ages of father and son after four years. Then we get um, 19x positive 4 to 5x positive 4. Okay, now we got the ratio between the ages of uh, son, uh, father and son after four years. But that ratio is already given in the question that is 3 to 1. So this ratio can be equated to 3 to 1. So the ratio what we got between the ages of uh, father and son after four years is 19x positive 4 to 5x positive 4. And uh, the ratio between the ages of father and son after four years is given in the question 3 to 1. So both the ratios represent the same stuff so we can equate them. Okay, so my aim is to solve for x. Uh, once I solve for x, uh, it can be plugged in into the 19x to get the uh, father's percentage. So here we can plug in x is uh, the value of uh, x over here. To get the science percentage once we get the percentages of father and son we can add and uh, we can answer this question so because the target of the question is uh, to find the sum of the percentages of the father and son okay now in this equation my aim is to solve for x okay for that i'm going to write uh, both the ratios as fractions so i'm getting 19x positive 4 over 5x positive 4 equals to 3 over 1 Okay, I'm doing cross multiplication. So 1 times 19x positive 4 equals to 3 times 5x positive 4. If I distribute 1 to 19x, it will be it will still be 19x. So 1 times 4 is just 4. And 3 times 5x is 15x. Positive 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, I subtract 15x from both sides. And also I subtract 4 from both sides. So positive 15x and 80, 15x will cancel out. So positive 4 and 84 will cancel out. So the simplification of this one is just 4x. And uh, the simplification of this one is just 8. I divide both sides by 4. Then I get uh, 4, 4 will cancel out. I get x is equal to 4 goes into 4 1 times. 4 goes into 8 twice. So I get x is equal to 12. Okay, now uh, to get the value, uh, to get uh, father's percentage, I have to plug in x is equal to 2 into this one. Then I get 19 times 2, which is uh, 38 years. And uh, I'm going to plug in x is equal to 2 into this 5x to get uh, son's percentage. So 5 times 2, which is 10 years. Okay, my, uh, the target of the question is uh, to find the sum of the present ages of the father and son. So now we have to add the percentage of father 38 years and percentage of son 10 years. When I add 38 and 10, it will be 48 years. So the sum of the percentages of the father and son is 48 years.